Hello everyone, this is Hammertron here on my Hammermobile channel with a new Playmobil review for you. This time I am reviewing the Playmobil set 70176 Volkswagen T1 Camping Bus. This is an official licensed product of Volkswagen to Playmobil. In just a moment I will show you the packaging and then I will review the set itself. Here is the box for the Playmobil set 70176 Volkswagen T1 Camping Bus. This is an official licensed product from Volkswagen. This was made in Germany in 2021. I ordered this in 2021 from an online store. So here's the cover for ages 5 to 99 so after I'm a hundred I don't know what I'll do so here is the top of the box here is one side of the box here's the other side of the box and the back of the box it shows uh, nice pictures of what we can do with it and on the bottom is my favorite picture that shows the contents of the box although I'd prefer if this picture were larger and on the back but this is fine so I actually already opened this up to take a sneak peek and this is what it looks like before we assemble it all the parts are in different bags so in just a moment I will assemble this and review the set itself. Here are the items that come with this set. We have a little map they can hold in their hand, a couple of mugs, and a camera with a rubber strap that goes around their head and neck. We have a tube of toothpaste and a couple of toothbrushes. I was a little surprised to see little uh, itty bitty toothbrushes. There's a hairbrush, some boxes and cans of food, some different food items. Looks like a uh, thermos. Here's a bag. This bag has an extra piece. I think we can pull it out. There we go. So we can put a few small items in there. We have a couple of pillows and a chest or a box that we can put some of the items in and a rack that goes on top of the camping bus. And here are the characters. Uh, here's the uh, woman. She has a hairpiece that we have to attach on her hair, and there's an extra hairpiece. Maybe in case we lose one, we have another one we can put in our hair. It's a tiny, tiny little piece there. So, looks like a nice design. Nice printing on the front there. But if we look, you know, the printing is only on the front there's no printing on the sides or the back so I'm a little disappointed there's not detail all the way around and here's the man he has a nice beard makes him look more manly uh, with the rounded heads of these Playmobil figures sometimes it's hard to tell if it's supposed to be a male or female and here's some printing on the front but no printing on the side or the back if we look at the sleeves on the arm there we're printing all the way around so it just seems a little odd it seems like some printing should be there to complete the look of the uh, figure and it also has a pair of shorts and it looks like some boots so all in all these characters look nice 
And they have uh, a lot of interesting little accessories. You know, I'm still surprised about the uh, toothbrushes and toothpaste. And these food items, all these pictures here are little stickers that we have to attach. So it's a lot of work to put them in place. There's even some stickers here. And even on the uh, tube of toothpaste. So it's a lot of work putting on the stickers. Here is the Volkswagen T1 camping bus. It's a rather nice looking vehicle for Playmobil. Usually they do have a windshield and here they don't have any windows but they do have one here and on the back and on this side so that's a little unusual most vehicles by Playmobil only have a windshield and nothing on the other sides for the windows so I like the attention to detail a lot of detail on the, the bottom there I don't know how realistic that is but it looks nice nice rubbery tires something that we have to put together and they spin very nicely now as you assemble this we have to attach the mirrors the side view mirrors and I actually broke this one off while assembling it and I had to glue it back on so it looks okay now but something that you want to be careful about I wonder how long these will last with little kids playing around with it because it seems like that's about the weakest part of the toy and that would break very easily on the back here we can open this and we can see the engine in there looks nice we have a license plate sticker there we have to attach these lights although they don't light up we just put in the colored plastic a license plate sticker here and these headlights were already attached we have to attach these up here here is the top it looks like we can open this up here there we go we can open that up we can see inside however we can also remove the entire roof in order to get more access inside so I'll take a look at that in just a moment we have some holes here where we can attach this piece this is where we can store luggage and other things so looks nice it's easy to attach or detach so that we can open that up so let's take a look on the inside we have uh, lots of well seats here another seat here and a little table and another sofa and a bed so the doors on the side open up a lot of things we have to assemble here's a little shelf to put some things there this folds out and we can open this up there we go we can open that up to put things in there this is a little sink with a faucet but no water thankfully here's another folding table and a mirror that's a sticker now the sofa turns into a bed so it takes a little work to pull it out there we go 
and there we have a little bed where we can put the characters and then we can pull up on it and fold it back down so all of these are stickers a lot of large stickers we have to put in for the seats and then the floor the blue floor there that's actually a large sticker that we have to put in down there here's a little table so we just have to pull this a little bit and then it folds down so we have more space inside so it has a lot of nice little features and let's see how the characters look we can sit them, oops, we can sit them at the table. So, that looks nice, we can put them there. He'll fit over on this side. And we can put him in the driver's seat. Takes a little bit of work to put him in there. It's a little hard with my large hands in order to get him in there, but I think I can still do it. There we go, that looks okay. So he's ready to drive on a camping trip. It's a rather impressive vehicle with a lot of little uh, features in there. One possible problem is how we can store this away when we're done playing with it or displaying it. As we can see with the wheels attached to the Volkswagen T1 camping bus, it's a bit higher than the box here with the wheels attached. So if we tried to put it away the box the box does not fully close and if we try to put it away this way I'm not sure that it will fit very well because of the mirrors on the side I'm afraid that those will break off yes that's still too wide so I think the mirrors would break off so this box is not very good for putting this vehicle away when we're done with it other than that it's still a very nice vehicle to have so I'm rather happy with the Volkswagen T1 camping bus set by Playmobil it uh, looks like a very nice vehicle However, it has uh, fewer accessories along with it than other sets of this size, so I think a lot of the cost is tied up in the licensing fee, so they don't have enough budget for many extra accessories to go along with it. So thank you for watching my video. Please like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my future reviews. Until next time, goodbye everyone.